All right, what's up people? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a video inside these drop downs. It's part two of a series in which I show you how to work with videos in your Shopify store. These drop downs you'll find in Dawn and in all the free Shopify 2.0 themes, uh, but they don't have any way to add a video. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Personally, I think that this is probably the most elegant way to add a video into your product page. Uh, it's certainly a lot nicer than just sticking the video in the description, um, which really just kind of stands out to me and looks kind of ugly. I'd prefer to hide it. So to do that, we're going to be adding a field here, which allows you to add code. And the code we're going to be adding is obviously the YouTube embed code. Uh, but I'll show you how to adjust it to make it responsive so that it resizes for uh, the container that it's in. Um, and then lastly, I'll also show you how you can add this little video icon because that's not one of the icons that are available to us. They got like useless ones like an apple <laughs> or a banana. It doesn't make sense if you want to add a video, right? So I added my own SVG icon and I'll show you how you can add your own or more likely just grab my one copy and paste it. All the code that I'm going to be showing you today uh, is available on my site ed.codes. Go to tutorials and then find this tutorial and you'll be able to copy and paste the code from there. Oh, and one last thing. I know that a lot of you may be in the situation where you want a unique individual video for every product, right? So like on this product, I have the Patagonia tech face hoodie and the video is for the hoodie and you know on a different product there would be a different video that's not going to be part of today's tutorial I'm just going to focus today on teaching you how to add a video into the accordion and if you follow this tutorial exactly it's just going to be the same video across all your products but in the next video I am going to be showing you how you can use meta fields to connect a unique product video to every product page. And since you're watching this in the future, that video is probably already out. You will find the link in the description. And if you watch that video together with this one, you will be able to have unique videos in the accordion for every product. Okay, so let's get started with the actual tutorial. The first thing you wanna do is open up your theme customizer and navigate to a product page. Next thing you want to do is also open up the code because we are going to be making some small code changes to our theme. So click on these three dots here and then command click or control click edit code to open it up in a new tab. So we're here and you're going to look for a file called main product dot liquid. Sorry, main product dot liquid. That's the file we're going to be editing. For some reason today Shopify is not showing colors for code, which makes it a bit more difficult to read. Pretty sure it usually shows colors, unless I'm tripping, but we're gonna be doing the tutorial anyway. And yeah, finally, you also want to open up the tutorial on my site, ed.codes, tutorials, find this one, and you'll be able to copy and paste the code from there and not type it out manually, which will mean you will make less mistakes, there's less chance of a typo now that we're here, let's continue. You're going to add a block first and it's going to be a collapsible row. Drag it up to wherever you want it. And you're going to change the text to be like, watch the video or something like that, right? And just leave the icon as check mark for now or change it to none. We're going to be adding our own custom icon. And as you can see, there's only a text content field or you can you know add a page but you don't want to create a new page for every time that you want to add a video here right so we're going to just make our own field we're going to add a liquid field which i don't know why this theme didn't come with a liquid field they could have just added it they have a block for liquid right and here you can add custom liquid and so we're going to be doing the same thing here we're going to be adding a liquid field so to do that once again go into main product.liquid and scroll down to the bottom you're looking for the schema this is i'm already in the schema but yeah the schema starts from here 
and the schema basically describes what is in this theme settings sidebar. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can read. So in the schema, we've got the blocks that are inside of this that are available in our theme, right? So the collapsible row block, the price, the title, all of this, all of this is defined like type text, type title, price, variant skew, etc. And we're looking for the collapsible row block. So here it is collapsible tab. And uh, if you're not finding it like this, you can also search, just use Command F or Control F and look for the word collapsible, right? And you'll be able to find that easier. And here inside the collapsible tab, we see the settings for that tab. And there's text, there's the icon and a list of icons that you can add. And then there's rich text and page. So we can see that text, icon, this is a rich text field and this is a page field and we want to add a liquid field. So I'm going to add it right between rich text and page. I want it to appear like here and actually it's easier for you to just copy and paste. So just copy this, including the comma. Don't forget the comma. So it was like this and you're just going to hit enter and you're going to paste, highlight this and just tab it in so that it's like in line, nice and neat. And all this is saying is that we're adding a new field. The type of the field is going to be liquid. The ID is going to be liquid. The ID is important for when we output that to the page. I'll show you later. And the label is going to be liquid. Uh, the label is just this text here. It can be whatever you want, you know. So let's hit save and see if that worked. Now we have this liquid field and we can add whatever code we want in here. But for now, it's not going to actually output anything. We need it to output something when this field is filled out, right? So we're going to find this code, which is the div class accordion content. And this is code that's already there, these two lines. And this line is what we're going to add. So just copy this block.settings.liquid. And then again, inside our main product.liquid, now we're going to search for a collapsible. Okay, but it's not going to be inside the schema because now we don't want to edit what's in here. We want to edit what's output here. So let's go back up and find the actual collapsible tab. It's going to be like this when collapsible tab. There's a bunch of whens in here. And this basically means when this block is added, this is the code that's going to be output. And when we look inside here, we can find div class accordion content and they're outputting that text content block and the page content block. We're just going to stick our liquid right in the middle between those two. So block.settings.liquid and it's going to output anything that we add inside that field that we just added. So now this liquid field is actually going to work and we can do whatever we want here. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to output the entire product description inside of this drop down. There you go exactly the same as the description here. So this is really powerful already, actually. Um, adding a liquid field inside of these rows just lets you do so much. You can output the SKU here, you can output various other product data. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to grab the embed code from your YouTube video, copy that code, and then we're going to paste it in here. And that's already going to show a video, but it's going to be too big. It's not going to be responsive. Okay, so this issue with the um, embedded video being too wide is actually something that always happens in Dawn theme, whether you add the video inside your product description, or into your pages or into a blog post or anywhere. Um, and I've already just published a video on how to fix that. That's this video, how to fix video embed in Shopify Dawn theme. And I'll show you how to make that uh, video responsive so that it resizes according to its container. So I definitely recommend checking that out. I'm just going to really run through what I did for that video. So as you saw, I, I copied this CSS code from here and I'm just going to add some style tags here and style and I'm going to paste this code. So so just make that in line. And now what that's saying is that any element with the class of responsive video gets this CSS, which makes it 
width 100% of the container and it sets an aspect ratio. And what we're going to do is in this iframe, we're going to add a class called responsive video. So this CSS affects this iframe. And now it's fitting perfectly inside of this uh, container. Let's save that. Like I said, if you're confused about this, yeah, go and watch that video because I go into more detail about it. And also if you want to move this away into like a custom uh, CSS file, right, so that you don't have to paste this in every time inside of this field, uh, then that video will show you how to do that. Okay, now we're at the final part, which is adding the icon here, like a video icon. And if you don't need an icon, if you're okay with how this looks, then you're finished. You don't have to watch the rest of the video. But if you do want to add an icon, then here's what you're going to do. You're going to look for a file called icon accordion.liquid. And inside this file, we see a bunch of SVG icons. SVG is like an image, but in code. Okay, so when Apple, and then this, this here is an Apple. Okay, you might not see it, but it's an Apple. So we're going to copy this, this when Apple, when banana, when bottle, right? And we're going to say when YouTube. And then under here, we want to paste in the SVG code. If you have your own SVG, uh, you can use that, but make sure that it fits the view box of 0 2020. If you have a designer making your SVG or something, then they might know what this means. But if not, then just use my one. I tried to find an icon that looks most like these icons. I couldn't find like exactly the same. I think mine's a bit thicker, but it should be enough. I don't think that any customers watching your video are going to care about the thickness of the lines in this icon. So you're just going to paste that in on the next line. So now that icons like available, but we still need it to be part of this list. So I'm going to add YouTube right above Apple here. Um, and to do that, we want to add it into the schema again. So if you remember inside of the main product, the schema controls everything that's inside this sidebar, right? And so under icon, we're going to search, we're going to command F search for the word icon inside this file and you'll find inside the schema collapsible tab, right? Type icon. And then here we have apple, banana, bottle, box, right? Like I said, I want it right above apple. So I'm going to copy this highlight, just tab in to fix that up. And yeah, what this is saying is basically the value that's selected is going to be YouTube and the label, the label being the text that you see here, that's going to be YouTube as well with a capital Y. If you're wondering like, what is this here? Why instead of Apple, it says like this, this is just translations. It's for like different languages and stuff. You don't really have to worry about it. So save that. And now when we refresh, you should be able to see that you have the option to select the YouTube icon. Now we can select YouTube. And there we go. Watch the video and we have a video. All right, like I said, the next part is going to be how to make this video unique. Because right now, this video is showing across all products because we're using the default product template. You can of course use different templates, but you're not going to create a template for every single product with a different video. So what you want to do is use meta fields. And just as a quick preview, what we're going to be doing is changing this iframe so that the source, the source being the URL of the YouTube video, this is going to be dynamic. So it's going to be something like this. And it's going to be like product dot dot meta fields dot product video or something like that. Right. And uh, it's going to output whatever you created a meta field for. But I'll get into that in the next video. It's probably already live if you're watching this more than a week in the future. So just check my YouTube channel. There is a playlist called Shopify and YouTube. And that's going to be full of videos about, you know, integrating videos into your Shopify store. So definitely check that out. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.